we're just going to do a quick video today but I wanted to show you before we go into the topic for this video look what happened um, I had the pot planted here with the cherry tomatoes in it from last year's shed wars and uh, obviously some tomatoes fell out of the pot because here we have a tomato plant there and a tomato plant over here growing up on the um, what do you call it? It's the bucket. <laughs> so there you go. They're just growing in the native soil and they're growing quite well actually. So that was a bit of a bonus. I don't know if we'll get any tomatoes off it before we get a frost. Um, we might do because they're only cherry tomatoes, but there you go. <laughs> so thanks, Shedwars, for the bonus volunteer cherry tomatoes. Um, and a tip on that too is you can actually just plant the cherry tomatoes in the ground where you want them to come up the next year or the next season I should say and they will just pop up like this they're really really um, prolific when it comes to starting them from seed I'd say this was from just one tomato that these started so there you go here we are at the seedling area and a lot of these seedlings are actually trees that I started from seed so with that you can start most citrus will be true to seed so you can start citrus from seed and get the same or very similar um, fruit off that tree they don't have to be grafted although of course you can graft if, if it's something you don't like and you've just got those seeds you can graft a variety on that you do like um, or graft them to make them more cold hardy or whatever the situation is but um, yeah, so these were started from local seed, which is a really good idea is to start things from the area that you live in so that they're sort of adjusted to that climate. And um, so we have some lemon, a lemon tree in the front here. And this one's a mandarin tree. They're both started from local seeds. Uh, about, mm, this one's about Four months old i think and this one's only maybe a couple of months not even that six weeks possibly uh, i do write on them on the pots wet when i started them but yeah then we've got some um juniper trees that i bought as seedlings so i'm just sort of getting them established in their pots the kiwi is taking over a little bit here it got a little bit waterlogged so i just took it out of the water then we've got some more we've got a um, kumquat over the back there and a couple more lemon trees and then we've got these uh tube stock honeysuckle and uh oh what's that one called <laughs> see i'm really good at remembering names um ginkgo tree over the back there and so I'm going to pot them up very soon and just let them have a grow over the winter because we want to put them out in the early spring when the last frost has passed so that um, they get the best growth. And then over here, I just started this recently. Well, actually, I started the seeds six weeks ago in the fridge. We have a little apricot. And apricots are one of the few stone fruits that actually do uh, grow true to type to their seed, to their tree, the mother tree that you got the seed from. So I've got a couple of those starting to pop their heads up and do their thing. That one actually, so what I normally do is start them in a Chinese container and um, Sorry, I'm just trying to put that one back where I found it. There we go. Um, and I wrap them in a, a moist paper towel and leave them for six weeks in the fridge. And that one had actually sprouted and really started to grow by the time I found it. So, yeah, I'm not sure if it will do too well, but it seems to be doing okay at the moment. Um, but yeah, there's some tips for you on you can start some trees from seed you will get different varieties if you start say an apple tree or a pear tree 
um, peaches can be different variety, plums, all those sorts of things can give you a different variety and sometimes it's not very tasty but like I said you can um, graft them to make them a nicer variety if you've got some cyan wood that you can graft in there. So there you go. Oh, and before I leave, this is my vegetable, I guess, in a pot um, or a container, sort of a container pot thing. And it hasn't really sprouted up much yet, but I don't know if you can see it. Just, but it's ginger and it's got a little sprout there. I don't know if that's really visible, but anyway, there's a weed there too. <laughs> um, so we'll see how that goes. I know it's a, quite a small pot, but it is a small piece of root that I've got in there. Uh, there's a piece of it right there that's sort of sticking up. But um, yeah, so we'll see how that goes. It's just got to be kept very moist and um, yeah, it should grow just fine in a pot and then we may if it becomes you know too big for the pot we may transplant it out next year or something into the glass house that we're building so hmm because these don't like the frost too much but at the moment we're not getting any frost so it's out in the sun and hopefully we will be harvesting ginger in a little while from it I think it takes a couple of years for ginger I haven't grown it for so long I can't remember because I used to grow in Brisbane in the ground uh, where we didn't get so much frost or much frost at all um, and yeah it was quite, quite prolific but I think it was two years before you can actually harvest the root from it you can harvest the leaves from it earlier and they have a little bit of a ginger taste as well so <clears throat> there you go and I'm sorry about my croaky voice um, I have a bit of a sore throat at the moment no it's not COVID I've already had that <laughs> just a bit of a scratchy throat from the um, hay fevery type stuff so yeah that's it uh, for now and I'm sorry that my videos have been all over the place and not really uh, within a certain time or whatever I'm not very good at following rules any of my uh, ex teachers or lecturers would tell you that um, <laughs> I am trying to get two videos out a month. I didn't do that last month, but I am also planning a wedding, moving house and going back to uni in four days time. So that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. Um, life goes on, but I am enjoying getting out and thinking of new videos to put up. And I am going to do a tincture video. I'm just, as I said, moving house at the moment. So I haven't got really anything to do that. Um, I've also just got a colloidal silver processor, so uh, it should be here soon. And um, yeah, lots of other things going on as well. So yeah, if you want to see that, obviously it wouldn't be a Shed Wars video because um, it's nothing to do with the garden or anything. But if you want to see that, uh, let me know and I might do a video on how to use and produce colloidal silver. Uh, it's really really good stuff for <clears throat> cuts and scrapes and stuff like that and also internally for stomach bugs and COVID oh no I can't say that don't say that <laughs> um, <clears throat> and sore throats and things like that I have taken some this morning so I'm expecting that this scratchy throat will be gone very very soon um, you can use it as a gargle all sorts of things and it kills bacteria, it kills fungal, and it kills viruses <coughs> as well. So, um, yeah, if this video gets blocked, you now know why. Like I said, not good at following rules. <laughs> so, anyway, I will hopefully see you this month again. I might have to do three this month to make up for the one that I didn't do in January. Um, and, yeah, let me know if there's anything you want to know about how to use your produce, how to grow your produce. Um, Obviously, at the end of each video that I do on in the kitchen, so to speak, <clears throat> producing stuff, I will 
then go and explain how the ingredients grow like I did in the Oxymel video um, but yeah let me know if there's anything you want to know I am studying naturopathy but I've been a herbalist for many many years um, so there's that and um, I've also had a really big interest in diet and um, constituents of different foods and things like that and I have a friend who's actually a food chemist and um, he's very very intelligent and I'm sure that if there's something that you really want to know about something um, I can find out the answer to that if I don't know and uh, yeah so watch this space I am looking at lots of different things at the moment and lots of movement happening lots of changes rebirths all that sort of thing with the marriage happening and um, yes yeah, so it's an exciting time at the moment <clears throat> and um, I'm looking forward to the rest of this year so have a good day everyone and see you next bit.